we saw a little bugger right there. But wait, there's more. Her hump was huge. Something's not adding up and not making sense. There's my daughter banned me from my own office. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. Today is a very eventful day. I don't know what is going on. I don't know, maybe some crazy hormones in the air. Who knows, spring fever, daylight savings time, who the hell knows. But today, when I come into the shop and we got babies born, but we got more than one batch. We got more than two batches. We got three batches of pups born today. So it was a very exciting morning to walk around in the shop and say, oh my God, there's one batch. Oh, there's another batch, there's another batch. Crazy day. So let me show you batch number one that we discovered, okay? And it is the guys down here, these P14 hybrids. We got a batch of six. There they are. Very, oh, let's get this in focus here. Okay, here we go. Mom and dad, they look very nice, very clean, very healthy. We're gonna pull these guys out pretty shortly. Just waiting for Oi to get back to help me. And as always in this system, everyone gives birth within the same week. So we got two more mothers right here. One and two that should be giving birth within the next couple of days or so. Okay. In anticipation, I did clear out some pups from these baskets to make room for the new babies that I was expecting, right? And uh, let's see, these are some of the other old ones in the cage back here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay. So, that is batch number one. Let's go to batch number two. All right, now batch number two is in this system right here. And they're all huddled up back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there are six really good sized pups back there. And uh, earlier this morning, there was plenty of sperm all over the tank. But uh, I think the filter has already taken in most of it. But there are some bits right there, you can see it. But all the big globs are now sucked in by the filter. Um, I think the mother is that one right there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't taken a closer look. It's either that one or that one. But uh, I'll take a closer look later. The reason why I think it's that one is because when I discovered the pups this morning, I saw, I think it was this male on top of her and biting her. So I would only assume that he knows which one gave birth and that's why he was going after that one. I think we're gonna start pulling some of these pups out and getting them into their tanks. But wait, there's more. This one wasn't so easily found because I have this massive table in my way. But when we took a closer look, we saw a little bugger right there. I, I don't know if you guys can see the reflection. He's right there, vertical on the wall, on the black wall. So there's one, I don't know how many are in that tank because of this table in the way. I'm gonna pull the table out, but there should be more than one because I only have one black, black ray in here, which is this one, okay? And her hump was huge. Now, she's flatter now, but she isn't completely flat like how I see a, when a ray drops all her babies, but maybe she wasn't carrying a lot. It's hard for me to say or maybe she might still have a couple in there. Or just this huge table's in the way and the babies are along this front panel. So I won't know until I move that table out of the way and grab those babies. We do have quite a lot of harvesting to do right now. Let's get to it. I decided to pull the pups out of this tank first. So I just moved this table out of the way and there's something really disturbing or not disturbing, but just something's not adding up and not making sense. I've looked everywhere, and it is just 
that one pup that I showed you earlier, right there, oh, this Osmani's in the way, that one little pup right there against the wall, right there, right? I don't see any pups anywhere else. And her last batch was six pups, and her stomach or her back was huge. I was expecting way more babies than this. Where are the babies? Oh my goodness. I don't think the other adult rays ate the babies, because I would see a lot of like debris, you know, parts of stingray pups in the water, but there isn't any. Ah, now, it leads me to jump to one conclusion. I had something happen in this tank once, a while back, and I, I didn't film it for you guys. But in my overflow right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, the normal teeth are single size teeth right there. But in order to create more flow in certain areas like there, I knocked out a couple of the teeth, you see? So it's much bigger. And there was one time where I had a flood out here and I couldn't figure out why. And it happened during a water change and water goes down this floor drain that I have over there. Let me get over there uh, and show you guys. I have a floor drain um, just behind here where all the water goes down. So when I went to look at that drain, there was a pup stuck on the screen of the drain. And I tried to figure out where it came from and just logically tracing the whole thing, it came back from this tank through that little slit in the overflow, down into this big pipe here, into this drum filter, and then from this drum filter, I'll show you, when it backwashes, the water overflows out this tray right here, out this pipe, down into this line, and into the floor drain. Now, I wanna put down the camera for a second, and try to look inside that drum filter to see, because I haven't done any water changes yet, so nothing should go out the drum filter. So there could be babies either in here, in the overflow, in that big three inch pipe leading to the, to the, to the drum filter. Hopefully that's not the case. But if that's not the case, then why did this female only give one pup? I'm gonna have to figure this out, but for now, why don't I just pull that pup out first before, you know, looking into that. All right, so I pulled out the pup and it's, it's a pretty good looking pup. Nice pattern. Let me get this pup into the basket right here. Um, but let me take a quick look at the sex. Uh, hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, looks like it's a female. And there is a little yolk sac right there in the middle. So it is a little premature as well. Let me get her in here first. Okay. Now, given that there's a yolk sac, oh, it almost fell down. Given that there's a yolk sac there, and it's not super big, but it's not tiny either. Maybe it's a little premature. Let me go look at the date that uh, I was expecting her to be born. Uh, it says there, 325. Today's 311. So, 10 days, a little bit over 10 days early. Um, two weeks to be exact, I think, right? 11 minus 25 is 14, right? <laughs> um, so, all I can hope for is maybe there's still pups in the mother right there. And if more pups come out in the next day or a couple of days or in a week from now, then I know that the one we got today was premature and she wasn't done giving birth yet. Hopefully that's the case because it just doesn't make sense to me. Her previous batch was six pups and she is a veteran breeder and she was eating so well and she had a huge hump. So the numbers or the facts are just not adding up to me. So. Let's hope for the best and see what the results will, will be in, in the next couple of weeks, right? Okay, so now let's get to pulling out 
those guys. All right, but now I gotta push this table back so I have access to this tank here. I'll be right back. I tried my best to find if there were any pups inside the overflow or the pipe or the drum filter. I checked it all, there's nothing in there, and as well as I looked at the floor drain, there is nothing there. So hopefully, maybe within this next week, she will pop out more pups, but if not, then this is gonna go as a unsolved mystery. What can I say? So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And then in the next episode, we will move on to batch number two, which is in this tank. See you guys soon.